Ethnic arts, such as tamari, the Japanese needlework tradition, are a way to connect with one's heritage and to preserve the memories of the old country. It started as toys made for children out of strips of old kimonos, but tamari has developed into an expressive, precise art form. These tamari balls were created by Chio Kubota, a longtime resident of northern Utah. My mother doesn't like to use those pre-made foam balls because of the texture and they feel so differently in her hand that this doesn't have the more natural feeling. Pretty so sweet. <laughs> so. When she's coming to the end of winding the ball up, she has to make sure that it's like this, uh, <laughs> round. <laughs> Measuring is very, very critical. Five and a half of me. I was born in Benson, Utah. My grandfather was here for contract labor. All children who were going into elementary school had to do it in Japan. So she went no, to Japan in 1921. Six years old. That education was so grounded into that culture that my mother has never quit being Japanese. And when she was 17 years old, her mother's sister, who was living in San Pedro, told her that there was a man for her to marry, so she must come to the States. <laughs> she says that if your parents told you to go and get married, you went. She came, and she had never met my father before. <laughs> no. <laughs> to get married. Tamari requires mastery of both mathematics and aesthetics to bring a variety of shapes and colors into a balanced and pleasing design. First one little hard, but second, second so the first look easy. <laughs> Everyone nine, then come out here this way. Some of these patterns are traditional patterns. So they have to be done a certain way, but others are her own creations. Having done so many of them, she knows what colors will go together. My mother says this is a shira giku, and that's white chrysanthemum. White chrysanthemum. Red and the white together is very good luck in Japanese. And then she's put the obi on there to make it balanced. Yeah. Yeah. Some are going to bar at Obi Some are no Obi. Yeah, it's uh, it's just to uh, separate the two sides of the sphere. It comes from the word for wrap around the middle of the kimono. It's the very last part that's embroidered on the ball. Yeah. I've watched the process for so many years that I keep thinking. Very soon now, I have to she actually said, do it. She's too busy. But I've got to do uh, it. Soon, I will. Yeah, I don't think so. 